Okay, you are Doug Phelps. I am. Thank you for sitting for this interview. And, and your bass guitar and vocal. Played Bismarck, North Dakota last night for a for a, you know a Fourth of July weekend festival. Uh, on, on the, well, we were just off the water. We had people in on in front of us on the ground, and then the folks out on the lake just in front of us. So it was, really cool. it was a fun show. But it got up to 106 yesterday, which set a record for them. So really hot. You know, there's a lot of hot stuff going on up in that north. West area, and you know, in Missouri and Tennessee, and Kentucky, where we're all from, like in the '80s. So you know, a little bit of flip flop thing going on, but but great people. We had a good time. So that's where we were. Uh, as soon as we get everything loaded, we're taking our uh, stage manager to St. Louis, drop him off at the airport. He has rescheduled this vacation that he's got with his honey three times because of all the COVID mess you know, this past year and a half. So. Um, so it's a race. On the, it's a race, race to get him there the in clock. time, and then from there we're headed back to South Central Kentucky, and uh, uh, and then I'm I'm in Hendersonville, Tennessee, which is about 17 miles north of Nashville. Okay. Everybody else is South Central Kentucky. That's kind of where we're based out of. But uh, so you I, take I grew, a break? Oh no, no. It, it will we'll be in just a few days. Then we head head to Texas next week. So that's what we're going to Ranger Ranger Texas, which is the other side of Fort Worth. So uh, that'll be our next week. <laughs> Somebody told me earlier that you guys were touring for 50 years straight. Richard, Fred, who are brothers, and Greg is a cousin. They had another cousin that, that they formed Itchy Brother back in 67. And so that's a long time. Now, and they, and they got close to a couple of record deals over those years. Always Something always happened. It didn't quite, it, it, it was going to transpire and it didn't. So. Kind of everybody kind of parted ways in, in 80 and um, 80 81 Greg our lead guitar player uh, and I from Southeast Missouri I'm a Missouri boy uh, I had a keyboard player friends of mine that had moved to Nashville and got with a country artist by the name of Ronnie McDowell who had a bunch of the string of hits during that time I auditioned got the gig as a 20 year old kid Greg auditioned because they kind of split up and everybody was doing their own thing during that time. And and we ended up, me and Greg ended up with Ronnie for a few years. They got the kind of it to put something back together again. And their other cousin had just got married, had a baby on the way. He, he, wasn't, he didn't want to do it. So Greg said, well, you know, they'd, I'd already met him. He said, I'll bring Doug up, you know, the practice house, the old, the, the old farmhouse on Richard and Fred's farm. And um, that would have been March of, well, the, the very first time was in Greg's basement because it's winter time. The second time we got together was at the old practice house. And we, we put the headhunters together. The four of us that are still doing it to this day put the headhunters together in March of 86. So, so for us, it's this is 30, uh, 35 years. Yeah, for us, it's 35 years. We, did, we signed our first deal in 89, and that's when Picking on Nashville came out, and that's when, you know, Picking. Picking went crazy and, and sold too many records, and you know we won a Grammy and the CMA awards and ACM. I mean, it was crazy. It was a little crazy there for about two or three years, and then of course things kind of settled back down. And, but you know the, the original four founding members of us are still getting to do this thirty-five years. So That's amazing. It is. It's. It's. It, we're, we're blessed and fortunate. Okay, this is one of my favorite yeah. questions. I actually stole it from the internet. Okay. If you never got into music, what would you be doing right now? I'd be a farmer, or Missouri boy, or a coach. I was good at I was good at basketball and baseball. I was going to college to be a coach, but I grew up on farms, chopping cotton, pitching watermelons, big weed and beans, stacking hay, all that down in the Boone Hill area. That's all a part of the. So what town are you from? Cardwell, a little bitty town in the very bottom left-hand corner of the Boone Hill. Uh, when I was growing up, it had about 870 people. It's maybe a little over 700 now. Um, you know, this farming community is basically what it is. Uh, but that's where I grew up. That was hometown. And still, my dad, 
and mom moved, you know, 12 miles west into Paragol, Arkansas. Our little town of Cardwell, if, if you look at the little boot down there, the very bottom left-hand corner is Cardwell, all the way down. Three miles south or three miles west, you're in Arkansas. That's how far down it is. Uh, but all of that is a part of the Delta region, so it's really good farmland. Cotton, soybeans, yeah. corn, rice, all that stuff. It's a lot of farmland. That's what I did growing up, I worked on farms. Okay. Yep. What do you want your fans in this crowd to remember about tonight? Uh, that, you know, that live music is still alive. <laughs> And, and that really is kind of our bread and butter. We, we love playing in front of people. Uh, uh, that interaction between us and the crowd is, there, there's there's no substitute for that. You know, I mean, we make records and it's great when we sell records, all that stuff, but, but the live show is, is still one of our favorite things to do. This event is the biggest event we've had in Knox County, which is where you are since the beginning of the pandemic. Well, Easily. well, we're, we're, yeah, we're tickled to be here, and, and you know, like I said, we're all, Rich and Fred are from the country, they're from their, their, their farm, their family farm has been in their family for generations, and so, Greg, uh, although he was born in Louisville, he moved to, moved to the South Central because that was his middle school, my hometown of Cardwell, farmland, I mean, we really are rural, we're country boys, but the hair, you know, we, we, we like to rock, but we like country and blues and bluegrass and all that other kind of stuff. So we, we relate. I, 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 I really relate to the small towns because that's how I grew up. And, and, and sometimes those are the best. The best. Okay, I'm going to get all these kids richer. What's the difference between playing a small hometown setting like this compared to a huge arena? Well, there's there's a different ener energy. The, the huge arenas, the big outdoor festivals, and all that stuff. Just the massive amount of people have a certain amount of energy, but sometimes they're a little far away, and and the connection you have, in even in the smaller venues, you know, the clubs or smaller theaters, uh, the connection is a little more intimate, I think, between those settings and between you know, between the small town festival, city festivals, county fairs, that kind of stuff, uh, are some of our favorite things to get to do. Did you get any specific vibe off of this crowd? I saw, I saw many people out there singing, especially the old, the older stuff, the older hits that we had early on, and uh, some jumping up and dancing and having a good time, and that's what it's about. It's about you know, kind of forgetting about the everyday life for a little while, coming out and having a good time, especially Fourth of July, Independence Day. I, I wanted to make sure I mentioned special thanks to past and present military. My dad was, served in, in Korea. He was on the front line for about 18 months over there. Dad, uh, Greg's dad was, was in World War II. So he was, he a, I think he was a gunner sergeant in, in a tank. And so he was he was over there in the middle of it too. So special place in our heart for, for those past and present. And uh, I mean, you know, freedom ain't free. It ain't, you know, it, 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 there's a cost to it. And, uh, but I'm, I'm thankful to be where we are. We sure appreciate you coming out here for our fourth. Well, we one of the you. biggest celebrations we have around here well, every year. We, we appreciate you having us. Love, love getting to do settings. Like this yeah, sure. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah, I appreciate yours. All right. <laughs>